1,000 active days of Genshin Impact. That is the kind of account that we are going to look at today. I'm usually an account reviewer. I go in, I roast them, I tell them what they can do better, but this guy, he knows what he's doing. This is not an account review. This is an account showcase of someone that we actually reviewed their account about two years ago, it was actually my first ever account review on the channel. Gophers, he's a moderator of my channel, and he is one of the best Shangling players in the entire world. I can't wait to show you guys this really cool account. It's gonna give you guys some ideas to make your account better and start realizing that some of these lesser used characters, these four stars, are actually goaded. And just like last time, proof of not being free to play, baby. But there's nothing wrong with that. Dude, look how cute this is. He's got his Shangling out with the OG national team. This is adorable. Shing Cho, Chang Yang Bennett all came out in 1.0, all four stars, baby. As with every account, I wanna see what characters we got under the hood. Look at these five stars. Kazuha, Absolute Goat, Yai Miko, and Raiden Shogun, Ina Zuman, Electro Appreciation. Dude, where's Kuki? There we go. I'll hide them, Nahida, Farina, Yalon, Child. I'll narc on Gophers right now. This guy, he's a tryhard. He is a pretty darn meta player. He uses the most optimal teams with the most optimal builds. He crunches the numbers with the freaking calculators to tell you the best artifact. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I know for a fact that he also pulls characters that he thinks he's gonna have a lot of fun with occasionally. Hu Tao, Goat, we love Hu Tao. Uh, we got Toma, Razor is level 90, okay. I know he likes to use Thundering Furry, really cool comp. Zhongli, Wanderer, Venti, Jean, Ayaka, Sino, Tainar. Bro's got so many characters, honestly. They're all really high, well, okay. Dude, this jumped off a cliff. Mona at 70, 70, 70, 70, 70, and then 20, boom, eight. Se Why are they even seven and eight? Why don't you have them unlocked? What are all these red exclamation marks? Bro. C1 Mona, uh, not unlocked yet. Stopping at C4? No, no. This guy's literally trolling. <laughs> all right, so I gave a little bit of an introduction, but I told him to tell us about your account, your fave teams, characters, goals with the account, stuff like that. He says, my account, I've been AR60 for over a year now, and I'm a very low spender. I buy Welkin, and for around the last year, I've been buying the BP, but rather swiping before the shop reset once a year. My favorite character is obviously Shangling. She was the first character I ever pulled, and I actually had her C6 from trying to get Venti before I even had like like a C2 official or Barbara, so she likes me too. My favorite team is international because Shanglin gets to do big damage. I want the viewers to know that I love Emblem and will do anything for Shangling the GOAT. I also have full artifact sets and weapons for all the characters I play, so I never have to swap if I don't want to. Man, that's crazy. As for his goals, just playing the game, how I have fun, pulling characters I think are cool and fun to play. What could be cooler than that? Genuinely. It's all about fun at the end of the day, man. It's a video game, okay? As for other cool stuff, I have the Welkin Moon item. What is that? Bro, I have never seen this before in my life. Use this item to receive 30 days of blessing of the Welkin Moon rewards. All right, Gophers. Enough's enough, man. Using your mod powers to troll me in the chat. It's over, bro. I need a promise. He says, since the last account review, a lot of things have changed. I'll just say, as much as I'd like to roast him, I appreciate him a lot. Your account has changed a lot since that two years ago when um, it was straight up dog shit. I think some major things that I learned are a lot of the more in-depth mechanics that make it easier to build teams I think are fun. I started using the optimizer for my builds, for some of my favorites. I also have awoken to crit rate. I stopped pulling for characters that will help my account and decided to pull stuff I have fun with. I also started pulling weapons for my favorite characters. I also decorated my teapot. Condense the resin. You set up all this, all these troll little things, and now you're giving me in janitorial duty? I'm such a goddamn pushover, bro. There's your stupid condensed resin, man. Why are the achievements still lit up, man? Why are the... <sighs> yeah, this flavor text is really cool. I, I don't want it to go away either, man. Okay, this is my secret stash. <laughs> How many pulls, dude? Have you counted four pulls? Your secret stash is four pulls? <laughs> so going over our dude's weapons, homies, we already know he gets the characters he wants, but dude, 
this guy gets the weapons he wants, man. Aqua, Lost Prayer, Scarlet, Calamity, Jay. These are some standards, but Haran missed. Almost vote level one. Doesn't even refine the Lost Prayer. Doesn't even refine the Calam. Doesn't even refine this guy. Okay. Our dude knows what weapons level up. He knows the good ones. They're all level 90, as you can see. There's a few level 80s right above my camera, but it's not super important. But our dude, I mean, this is just funny. R4 Fab Sword, R4 Fab Sword, R3 Fab Sword. I mean, honestly, it's probably better than having two R5s and one R1. Enough roasting the guy. I want to see these sick, nasty builds, bro. Let's see what he's got for Shangling. Staff of Scarlet Sands, absolutely godlike weapon for Shangling. Genuinely, dude. Emblem almost ever fate. Constellation Six, baby. Talents. Double crowns. Last time, dude, I think his global was like level seven. Only took you like two years, but I love it, man. I love it. 13 crit rate, 35 EM, 9% energy recharge, and a max crit damage roll. Before any of you haters out there be waffling about the low CV, that's an elemental master roll. That's an energy recharge roll. Shongling needs everything. This is zero dead rolls. A perfect artifact. Flower, 9% crit, ton of ER, attack, and elemental mastery. All useful stats. Crit damage, crit rate. 21% ER. This is actually going to be so impressive. I think a lot of Shangling players are straight up carried by their catch, giving them ER. This guy's got to make the ER up all by himself. Pyro damage. We got crit. We got crit damage. It's got ER. Unfortunately, the defense roll. And then here we go. Elemental mastery. Again, with the energy recharge. Crit, right? crit damage. Dude. All right. Let's see it all put together. Oh, 96 crit rate. 336 elemental mastery. 161 crit damage. Beautiful. Hitting that 180% benchmark. Even the attack is pretty high, man. It's like 1,500 attack on uh, no attack sands. Bro. Go versus a player that takes pride in his builds and he uses Akasha, which is a website where you can compare your builds to other people's builds online and get a ranking. And this was once the 21st best Shangling in the entire world, but it has fallen. I asked him before the stream. He says it's ranked 140 right now. This is the 140th best Shangling in the entire world, bro. Do you know how many people play this game? All right, we got a bonus segment on Shangling. It's gonna happen after the rest of the characters, so stay tuned for that. Let's go into Changyun. He's still level 80, I respect that. Racist Blade, let's go. Emblem, two piece, totally good. C6, talents are solid, boom. 73, 193, even some ER. Oh, look at that attack, bro. Over 2K. So we got refinement for Favonius Sword. Emblem must ever fade. Let's go. C6. Dude, why don't you have that crown? Come on. 76, 125, 192. Keep this in mind, homie said no artifacts move around. These are their builds. So that just makes it that much more impressive how good these characters are. Miss Splitter, goat weapon on Bennett. Best weapon in the game. He's on Instructor. Instructor Bennett is honestly really good. These offensive stats on Instructor, that much ER on Instructor? Getting out of the more supportive national characters. Let's see how much he loves his Yai Miko. We are rocking with Sith, R3. Two piece, two piece. Constellation zero. Talent six, 10, 10. Ooh. That's the best Thundering Fury Sands I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, that one's good though. Hey, that's pretty good. Nice, nice ER. Primordial J Big Spear. I love this weapon I'm riding. Based. Constellation 2. Oh, baby, that's a big one. 86, 150. On characters where they don't have an Ascension stat that helps crit rate or crit damage, 150 to me is the magic number. That's the number where I'm like, this guy put in the work and that is a solid number. This is a beautiful ride show man. Congrats. Haranga Paku Futsu, that's hype. Haran is so sick. Two piece golden troop for elemental skill damage and EM. 72, 211, 139 energy recharge. You got a little bit of EM. This is a saucy, I'll hide them. What do you think is the like contributing factor to how good your artifacts are. Like, how would you explain it to a player who wants to improve their artifacts and they just don't know why they're not getting there? He doesn't even DM me, he just says time. I say this a lot in my guides, but homies, if you want good artifacts, you are spending all your resin that you obtain, 80% of it is spent on artifact domains. That is the genuine truth. When a new character comes out, great. Level them up, 
get their talents up, get their weapon up, boom, straight back to artifacts. Look, one, 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 seven, one, one. He sees that there isn't a reason to level up these characters because he doesn't use them, because he doesn't think they're fun. And I mean, that just saves him resources in the long run, right? We're back with Nahida on Fab Codex. Hell yeah, I respect that. Deep Wood, Constellation Zero. Talents are really good. This Nahida has really high attack. That doesn't look like a lot when, when you think about it, but Fab Codex has really low base attack. It's the kind of Nahida that can work on any team at any time. Absolutely go to it. Farina is on Festering. R3? What the f what the hell? Get me out of here, man. C2. Okay, based. Farina Respector. Double crowns. Level one talent. He's optimal. Bro, 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 bro. This Farina is cracked. 84, 154. Energy recharge is all the way up to 164. And the HP threshold you want to hit is 40K. Homie's at 39. Oh my God, this Farina is cooking, bro. Favonius Warbo, R5. That's me. I'm a Fav Warbo Yalon user till the day I freaking die. Yalon's one of those characters where his stats are really important. I just want to see what he's cooking. Zero dead stats. All perfect. Holy crap. I'd even argue that flat HP is not a dead stat. The magic I like to hit with Yalon is like, if you can get above 30K without Hydra Resonance, you're cooking. And there we go. 31,000. Dude, congrats. Oh, wait, this is the king. I know Gophers as an extremely good extremely optimal and extremely optimized child he's rocking aqua on child right that's actually bay two piece attack two piece elemental mastery once again big vapes you don't need a four piece set your character can be just absolutely cracked without it constellations low who cares talents is this the only triple crown we've ever seen this is the only character gophers was no, it's not even he's so troll he's so troll 70 element of mastery, attack, crit damage, that's cool. That's insane. That's an insane piece, holy crap. Oh my God, that one's insane. Okay, this one is not insane. No, wait, it is, it's 50% crit rate. I'm just gonna say, you don't deserve it. 190 element of mastery, 91% crit rate, 196. Bro, you're almost 100 crit rate and almost 200% crit damage with 190 element of mastery. And like almost 2000 attack. How do you even get better, bro? Still doesn't crit? I guess you get better with 9% more crit, man. You'll get there. Hu Tao. I know that our dude rocks an actually pretty interesting Hu Tao. Deathmatch. You got better weapons than that, right? Yeah, look at that Calamity Queller. Two Calamity Quellers. Just be honest with the class. Was this trying to get engulfing lining? Oh, okay, Miss Splitter, Miss Splitter. Hard pity, baby. I wouldn't have it any other way. Artifacts. Shiminawas, yep. I know that Govers is a Shiminawas Hu Tao player. I respect the high damage. I just don't like not being able to burst. That's no dead rolls. That's arguably one. No dead rolls, no dead rolls. You have like four missed rolls on your entire Hu Tao, man. God damn, 102 crit rate. It's hot, but you know, total waste. Actually so bad. Kooky. Do you forget to change your build or? Okay, Thundering Fury Kooky. This is kind of base. All right, let's see what we're cooking here. Oh my God, dude. It all makes sense. <laughs> Bro, you're not fooling me. This is just your ka build put onto a different character because you don't f***ing have her, me. <laughs> okay, the Princessin, one of my favorite characters in the game. We got Stringless. We got Four Piece Golden Troop. Constellation 6. Not even Crowned Oz. What's up with that, man? Boom. 27% crit damage with two missed rolls. That piece is beautiful. That piece is gorgeous, too. That piece is pretty decent. And then that goblet on Golden Troop. How do you do that? Where do you have to sell your soul, man? I don't need my soul. Nice crit rate. Oh my God, this, this official is crazy. I've talked about this before, but this Razor is Thundering Furry. He wants to build Elemental Mastery, is a virgin team. Gilded Dreams, Elemental Mastery, Elemental Mastery, Elemental Mastery. Oh my God, 20 energy recharge. He does need a crap ton of energy recharge because you need the burst up to infuse with Electro. 200% ER on Fab, 700. An 84 element mastery. This is just a textbook godlike Thundering Furry Razor. If he's real, real, low as hell talents. 
Gophers is one of those balls guys, okay? He's one of those guys who types balls in the chat. So this Kaya better be sick nasty. And he was already holding freaking Black Cliff, so not super impressed. Emblems, <laughs> how many emblem characters have we seen, man? Why not this? Why not? 110A, cool. I just gotta see it. 71, 181, 157. Honestly, really good. And the attack is at a respectable 1600, and he's only level 80. I like how far down the list we are, and it's just Skyward Pride out of nowhere. Two piece, two piece, C6. This is a mono pyro hyper carry uh, Shinyan. I respect that. 73. I'm in a simulation. 73, 144. I like that. I think that is strong. Honestly, super impressive, man, the amount of builds you have and how good they are. This account is just the pinnacle of what you can achieve just putting in the time, putting in the effort. You don't even have to spend. But like I said at the beginning, this is 1,000 active days played of Genshin. That is an extremely long time. So don't compare yourself to our dude Gophers here, right? Lots of new players are getting into Genshin all the time. Maybe you've been playing a year. Maybe you've only been playing four months. But dude, this is a really cool account to like, you know, strive for. So I haven't actually shown this yet, but our dude has 43 thousand primo gems seems like he hasn't pulled in a bit or he's just been saving up a lot he's got a little bit in the bank hey he said he's about to pull for gaming are you going no matter what balls to the walls c6 gaming or do you like have some sort of respect for yourself oh no he says he's like, okay before i reveal the little special shangling segment we're gonna have at the end i asked him dude what have you learned in these two years since i did the last account review he said that pulling characters you enjoy and playing teams that you enjoy while playing the game how you like to play should be your highest priority. Let's go, dude. If you're casual, you like running around, you like building your teapot, you like doing story quests, or you like grinding the abyss, dude, play how you have fun. That's what it's all about, man. He says, why play the game if you're not enjoying it? As for advice for high AR players, there might be some out there. If you're on a budget like me and want a lot of bang for your buck, consider stop buying the battle pass. Uh-oh, dude, Hoyo's gonna take down my chair. I think he's saying if you're not pulling a lot of characters all the time, the resources aren't worth the money. As for pulling, make a plan. Choose maybe five characters you want for an entire patch. So like 4.0 to 4.8. And make sure you have enough to guarantee that character you want before they come back. To put my little note on his advice, I think that's really smart um to do five characters but of course characters come out that we haven't seen yet like chiori i didn't know about her until a month ago but i'm simping maybe give yourself four characters and a flex slot right that brand new character that's gonna come out surprise you and you're gonna be ready advice for newer players just enjoy the game play at your own pace and don't worry too much about catching up when farming artifacts keep stuff without double crit stats like energy recharge attack percent and em are all very valuable stats and in some cases can actually be more beneficial than crit i think our dude's shangling build i'll just boot it up right now was a perfect example of that this is the rank 140th best shangling in the entire world someone might look at this and be like wow not super high cv but it's got energy recharge and elemental mastery even this one bro wow no crit damage attack percent and a lot of ER. And to add to that, to the beginning homies out there, dudes, there is just not that many big, massive mistakes you can make when you're really early. You don't need to think about tryharding, optimizing your teams. What's the best team for this? Or what's the best team for that? Like you don't need crazy artifacts. You don't need crazy teams at that point. Just have fun, man. But if using a really strong team is fun for you, yeah, go out there and get some advice and use a strong team. All right, homies, it's time for the little special segment. I asked Gophers to tell me all of his best Shangling builds. Because, like he said, he doesn't move his builds around. This is his best build for some of his Shangling teams. This is our dude's four stars only build. That includes weapons and the characters that she's gonna be paired with are four stars only as well. So I moved some artifacts around, but now this is our dude's catch Shangling. 72% crit, plus 12 when you use your burst, 84.7 just shy of 150% crit damage and 199 energy recharge, 317 all in mastery. This Shongling is goaded, man. So that's our dude's catch Shongling saucy. I love how emblem is the one constant that we have in our lives. You know, it's like Jesus Christ. 
to us. Is Emblem of Severed Fate to us Genshin players. <laughs> Next up is our dude's build for Mono Pyro with Shinyan. All right, so that is Kazuan Bennett, the GOAT, Shinyan on field doing big pyro damage with C6 Bennett. And this goes on to Wave Breaker's Finn Shangling. So attack percent, and then you get the massive elemental burst damage buff based on the energy of the team. So the fact that this weapon at R2 outpaces those on a mono pyro team, shows how good it is. Stat reveal, 77, 137, and 199 ER. Even got some elemental mastery in the mix. Crit rate is high. And even the attack is very high, dude. Beautiful build. And finally, this is the best Shangling for Funerational. That is a Hu Tao vape team with Shangling, also doing vapes and just doing a ton of damage. Okay, this team is sick. This build is actually quite similar to the free-to-play build, but you can see you need way more energy recharge on this team because you don't have Bennett as a battery and our dude Gophers already knows that, baby. Gotta give him credit where credit is due. This guy knows his Shangling builds and they are absolutely saucy. Obviously, homies, it's no surprise that our dude Gophers has been... I was about to gas him up and talk about how he's probably 36 starred every single of this for an unbelievably long time. Yep, literally as far down as the thing goes. Bro, what happened, man? What happened, bro? <laughs> okay, yeah, don't take any advice from this guy. This guy's a fucking noob. All right, this account review would not be complete if I did not show you every single Emblem of Severed Fate piece that this guy has level 20. Look at this. Eight. 12, 16, 17 different flowers, and they're all really freaking good, bro. Look at all the feathers. What's up with that, man? Oh my God, there's even more here. Okay, sands are a lot harder to get, but I mean, just look at look at all these. Look at all the ER ones. HP, elemental mastery. Oh my lord, bro. Okay, these are the goblets. Attack, cryo, HP, hydro, electro, E, and pyro, hydro, pyro, attack, hydro, dendro. Okay, wait, where's the cryo one? I just got to point out because I rolled this. I rolled this one on his account. Okay, let it be known. This all me. The circlets? Oh my god, there's so many. HP healing bonus. Sick piece, bro. Sick piece. HP healing bonus. Crit rate. Crit damage. Crit rate. Crit damage. Crit. 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 There's crits everywhere. Shangling, it has been great getting to know you and your various builds and your insane collection of over almost 200 Emblem 7 Vape pieces. You are an absolute goat. Gophers, hey man. You are an absolute go-to, bro. I think the advice you gave to all the new players, all the old players was absolutely sound. Your account is absolutely cracked for being such a low spending account. Congratulations, man. Or I'm sorry for hitting a thousand days of playing Genshin Impact. I'll let you decide that. If you guys are at home, you guys are watching the YouTube video, consider checking out the stream, guys. I can guarantee you, you guys will have a very fun time in the stream. I'm streaming Genshin, other fun stuff, minimum five days a week, always trying to throw on something different and unique for all of y'all. So, hey, come check out the stream and drop that sub, that like, that comment on YouTube. It goes a long way. Big shout outs to the patrons, the homies who support our Patreon, help us make content like this and get access to the anime nights we have in the Patreon and all that good stuff. Homies, thank you guys so much. To Lancey, to Zick, to Sumi, to Gophers, to Poison Tongue, to Caldo. You guys are all awesome over there. Thank you guys so much. But I mean, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys again for supporting the channel. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. See you later.